Hi, we're squatting down so you can see us, but we have a turn where you can see the uh, what we'll be doing. But I'm Darlene, your Pamper Chef Consultant, and this is my daughter, Rebecca, and we're going to be making pretzels today. We have um, a pretzel making kit, and we have pretzel dough, so you can buy this separately. It comes One pack comes with the kit. So she is going to add this to one of our glass mixing bowls, and mm -hmm. we're just gonna add, the, yes, the whole thing here are the scissors. And I'm going to get some warm water while she's doing that. I'm going to show you a few things that come in the kit. We have our little mat. Your man, I'm white. Which, <laughs> which um, it gives you all the steps, but it has the ruler on here for when you get ready to measure. And this is the cool part. This is what we will use to make our soft pretzels to make our little shape. So, let me go check the water now. Okay, we're back with our water and I'm using our Easy Read measuring cup and our Instant Read thermometer. So, it's supposed to be between 120 and 130. And we are at 121, so that's perfect. So, we're going to pour that in there and we're going to stir it up. to oil the bowl. So I'm gonna take our kitchen spritzer. This is great for every kitchen. Instead of buying the processed ones that have extra preservatives in it, this is just pure oil and then you And then when you're done, you just twist the other way to release the pressure and put the lid back on for next time. And we're going to put saran wrap on top of the roll. Don't you put it on top of that thing? You like fold it in too? Huh? I thought you were supposed to like fold it on top of the dough. Fold one on top of like the dough. Like press it on top of the dough. Press what? That? No. We're just going to cover it, place the dough, and then we are going to set our, we're going to set our timer for 25 minutes. And in 25 minutes, we'll be back for the fun part. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Got to squat down so you can see us. But um, I've already put one tablespoon of water using our little measuring spoons with one egg and we're going to stir that up, and then here, one second, this is one of our easy, this is our largest easy read measuring cup. This is four cups of water. I'm going to pour it in here, and then this is our little mini easy read measuring cup, and this is so cute. We need four tablespoons of baking soda, so far you measure that out. I'm going to put this in here. We're going to whisk it together just a little bit, and then we're going to microwave this for, I think, five minutes it said. Let's see. Yes, five minutes. So now while that is heating up, we're going to take our mat here, which has all of our measurements on it, and we're going to take our dough. We're going to put it down on here. Yes, it smells good. I'm sorry, oh, it smells really good. It smells good, but we're going to divide this into eight sections. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna cut it in half again. I'm just gonna flip that so I don't have to turn the whole thing. And then each one of these we're gonna cut in half again. 
separate these. Ooh, separate them and lay them off to the side. Oh my gosh, it okay. smells so good. Now, this first thing we're going to do is we need a piece about 15 inches long. So mm -hmm. this Can is 15 it? inches. We're going to roll it like this and just keep stretching it out mm -hmm. until it Yes, you're going to finish this up until it's 15 inches long. Pans here, but I'm going to save some cleanup time. And I'll cut parchment paper to go over it so that when you're done, you just throw the parchment paper away and your pants can go right back in the cabinet. Oh, we're almost there. Okay. A little bit more. Stretch it as you do it. Start from the center and then go out. Oh, that's really smart because now it's 15 inches. Yes. And it will still shrink a little bit, so go a little bit past because it'll shrink up just a little bit. The bowl is almost ready, and I'm going to use our little microwave mitt to get it out. And the center is so start from the center and go out because the center is fatter. Woo! I did it. Are you proud of me? Okay, and this is our hot water with baking soda. We're going to stir that up a little bit. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take, this sits on top of that one. We're going to shape our dough. We put it down on the bottom and then we're going to come around the top, follow the arrows and go down. And yes, and then you can kind of stretch it, press it into the edges just a little bit. We're going to lift this part up. And then we're going to dip it in our bath water. Yes, our baking soda bath. And then we're going to see. And then we're going to just going to slide it onto our parchment paper. that up I'm going to take and we're going to take our egg mi mixture right here and we're going to take our basting brush and we're just going to brush over the top of all the pretzels Ooh, how do I get this paper to move flat? they will rise some now what we're going to do since we've done that we can do some with a coarse sea salt you can sprinkle some sea salt. Oh, we better be doing some sugar. We're going to take our other ones. We put five on one pan under another, but I'm going, I've got some sugar here, and we're just going to mix in some of our cinnamon. just slide it over to the side. Okay, and now I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on. Oh no. Sugar, and then these are going to bake at 400 already preheated the oven. 
for 18 to 20 minutes and I opt until they're like golden brown but I always like to set my oven about two or three minutes under that time so I can double check it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my um, first pan in while we're waiting. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're back. We just took them out of the oven and I did end up taking them out a few minutes before the allotted time. And so now we've melted a little bit of butter. These, this isn't in the instructions actually, but we like to add a little bit of butter. So we're just going to spread a little butter on the tops. Just dab it on like that. And we'll do it just a little bit. And then we're going to sprinkle a tad bit more salt. But I'm gonna do it this way. Because it's easier to see. Or you can bet these are all going to be gone tomorrow. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.